بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to my YouTube channel Calculus and Mathematics Learning In the previous sections of linear algebra written by Bernard Coleman and David R. Hill 8 edition we saw exercise number 1.5 which was totally related with the matrix transformation In today's video I will solve the next lecture lecture number 8 exercise number 4.3 but this lecture is totally related with the linear transformation Matrix transformation was uh, a very important exercise and this topic which is actually linear transformation this is also a very important. So let's move toward exercise number 4.3 lecture number 8 BS linear algebra by Bernard Colmer and David R. Hill. So the first question tells that which of the following are the linear transformation. First part is add up x y z equal to x plus 1 y and x plus y. So let's suppose we consider u1 is equal to x1 y1 and u2 is equal to x2 y2. So we know that add up u1 plus u2 will be u1 is actually x1 y1 and u2 is x2 y2. So by adding this it will become x1 plus x2 y1 plus y2. This is LU1 plus L1 plus u2. Now by putting this value over here in the given, my x is x1 plus x2. So put over here it become x1 plus x2 plus 1. My y is y1 plus y2. So put over here y1 plus y2 and also put over here x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2. This is actually LU1 plus LU2 past equation. Now after this my L of x1 y1 will be, let's suppose LU1. So put over here x1 rep, uh, replace with x, x replace with x1, it become x1 plus 1 and it become y1, it become x1 plus y1. Now L of x2 y2 will be L of u2, replace it with x2 plus 1 y2, x2 plus oh, y2. So according to the property L of u1 plus u2 should be equal to L of u1 plus L of u2. So my L of u1 plus L of u2 will give us x1 plus x2 plus 2, y1 plus y2, x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2. Now, from over here, L of U1 plus U2 and L of uh, LU1 plus LU, X, X1 plus X2 plus 2 over here, this term is not same. This term is same, this term is same, but over here, in place upon, we need 2. So this is not term, this is not same, it means that it is not a linear transformation. Move to the second part, oh. L of XYZ equal to X plus Y, Y, X minus Z. Now let's suppose my U is equal to XYZ because this is according to, uh, in the, in the three-dimensional plane, XYZ. So L of U will be X plus Y, Y, X minus Z. Replace u with u1 it become x1 y1 and it become y1 and it become x1 minus z1 lu2 will be x2 plus y2 y2 x2 minus z2 so l of u1 plus u2 will be so x1 plus x2 y1 plus y2 and z1 plus z2 now put it over here it become x1 plus x2 y1 plus y2 and y will be y1 plus y2 and it become x1 x2 minus z1 z2 this is lu1 plus l2 this is lu1 l2 by adding these two terms it will give us x1 x2 y1 plus y2 y1 plus y2 x1 x2 minus z1 minus z2 now both lu1 plus l2 and lu1 plus lu2 is same it means the condition is satisfied checking another condition l of cu should be equal to c of l of u so take out c common we left with l of u so put C, X, C, Y, C, Z over here, it will satisfy the condition. It means that part number B satisfy the linear transformation. Now let's write part number C of question number 1. L of X, Y is X square plus X and Y minus Y square. So U1 is X1, Y1 and U, U2 is X2, Y2. Now LU1 plus U2 will be U1 is X1 plus X2, U1, U2 and Y1 plus Y2. This is LU1 plus LU2. Now put X1 plus X2 over here become X1 plus X2 whole square. My X is X1 plus X2. Y is Y1 plus Y2 minus y is y1 plus y2 whole square. This is lu1 plus lu2. This is, let's suppose this equation number pass down. Now my lu1 will be just replace x with x1 and y with y1. It become x1 square plus x1 y1 minus y1 square. This is lu1. lu2 will be x2 square plus x2 y2 minus y2 square. Let's suppose this equation number third. Now add these two, it become lu1 plus lu2 will be x1 square x2 square x1 x2 y1 plus y2 minus y1 minus y2 whole square. Now by comparison L1 plus L2 and L1 plus L2 both are not same. It means this is not the linear transformation. Move to the question number B. It is same just like question number 1. Part number B is L of x, y, z is equal to 2x minus 3y, 3y minus 2z and 2z. U is x, y, z. U1 is x1, y1, z1. U2 is x2, y2, z2. L1 plus L2 will be x1, x2, y1, y2 and z1, z2. L1 plus U2 will be... <coughs> I replace x with x1, x2, y with y1, y2 in this hollow. So it becomes 2z1 and 2z2. LU1 will be 2x1 minus 3y1, 3y1 minus 2z1 and 2z1. For LU2 it become 2x2 minus 3y2, 3y2 minus 2z2 and 2z2. By adding these two terms, it become 2x1, 2x2 minus 3y1 minus 3y2, 3y1, 3y2 minus 2z1 minus 2z2, 2z1 plus 2z2. Now by comparison, LU1 plus LU2 should be equal to LU1 plus LU2. It means the first condition is satisfied. For second condition, LRP, CU will be C L of U. So check out uh, C multiply U, U is X, Y, Z, C, X, C, Y, Z. 
Now put C X C Y Z over here. So it become two C X minus three C Y. It become three C Y minus two C Z. And it become two C Z. Take C common. We have two X minus three Y three Y minus two Z two Z. Now this is actually equal to the given L of U. So it becomes C time of L of U. It means the second condition is also satisfied. It means this is a linear transformation. Now solving question number five. Now let's solve part number V of question number four, which are the following are linear transformations. So L of x, y, z is equal to one, one, zero, zero, minus one, two, one, one, minus one into x, y, z. By multiplying these two terms, it will give us x plus y minus y plus two z and x plus y minus z. This is the required L of x, y, z. Now my L of u will be x plus y minus y plus two z and x plus y minus z. Replace with u one, it will become x one, y one, y one, two z one, x one, y one, minus z one. Replace with u2 it become x2 y2 minus y2 2 z2 x2 y2 minus z2. Now by adding lu1 plus lu2 it become x1 x2 y1 y2 minus y1 minus y2 and 2 z1 2 z2 x1 x2 y1 y2 minus z1 minus z2. Now my l of u1 plus u2 will be u1 is actually x1 y1 z1 so it become x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2 and z1 plus z2. Now put x1 plus x2 over here. It becomes x1 plus x2 and plus y1 plus y2. Replace y with minus y1 minus y2 and z with z1, z2. It becomes 2z1, z2. Replace x with x1, x2, y with z, y1, y2 and z with z1, z, z2. Now l u1 plus l u2 is equal to l u1 plus u2. Each and every term is equal. It means the first condition is satisfied. The second condition will also be satisfied by taking, by taking out c common we left with l of u. So l of c u should be equal to c of l of u. You can try it yourself. Now part number c is l of x y z equal to 0 0 0. Each and every term is 0 so this is very easy. u is x y z, u1 is x1 y1 z1, u2 is x2 y2 z2. So l of u1 plus u2 will be u1 is x1 x2 y1 y2 and z1 z2 which is equal to the original matrix. So L of U1 will be 0, 0, 0, L of U2 will be 0, 0, 0. So L U1 plus L U2 will be L U1 plus L U2 satisfied. Second condition will also be satisfied. So it means the part number B is a linear transformation and part number, part number C and part number B both are the linear transformation. Now let's move to the next question from question number 5 to 12. Sketch the image of the point or vector u under the linear transformation L. So the past pip number question is linear transformation from R square to R square defined by R square to R square means that there will be two rows over here and two rows over here. So L of u is equal to a u. This is the definition for the linear transformation. U is x y is equal to a. A should be 1 0 0 minus 1 in order to multiply with u x y. So if we multiply this, it will give us x minus y. Otherwise, it will not give us x minus y. So the matrix A will be A0, 0, 0, minus 1. Remember. So my initial point is 2, 3, which lies over here, 2, 3. And my final point, which is the image, by multiplying these two, it becomes x minus y. So x is 2 and y is 3. So it becomes 2 minus 3. So my image is 2 minus 3, which lies over here. So this is the required sketch. Question number 6 is linear transformation from R square to R square defined by L of x, y, z equal to 1 minus 1, 2, 1 into x of y, while u is given which is 1 minus 2. By multiplying these two, it will give us x minus y and 2x plus y. Now my x and y is given which is 1 minus 2. So putting x, y over here, it will give us 3, 0. So my given image is 1 minus 2 over here and the required image is actually 3, 0 which lies over here on the positive x, x axis. So this is the required sketch. -o. Question number 7 is let Linear transformation from R square to R square is a counterclockwise rotation to a 30 degree while P is minus 1, 3. So remember when the, there is a rotation through some angle, we will use the matrix A which is cos pi minus sin pi sin pi cos pi. Remember this matrix. It will multiply with U which is X, Y. So by multiplying and putting theta is equal to 30 degree and by multiplying it become 0.866X and minus 0.5Y, 0.5X and 0.866Y. Now my x and y is given which is minus 1, 3. By putting over here, it will give us the required image point which is minus 1.36, 2.08. Now my initial point is minus 1, 3. This is minus 1, this is 3, the initial point. And the final point which is the required image, it is actually minus 1.36 along x-axis and along x-axis we have 2.08 which lies over here. So it means that these both make an angle of 30 degree which rotate counterclockwise. So this is the required sketch. Now let's solve question number 8 or let L is a linear transformation from R square to R square is a counterclockwise rotation through a 2 pi by 3 radian while u is minus 2 mi minus 3. So 2 pi by 3 radian is actually equal to 120 degree. So my A is cos pi negative sin pi sin pi cos pi and my X is u is xy according to definition L u is equal to a u. So replace theta with 120 degree and my x is minus 2 and y is minus 3. By multiplying this, it will give us 3.6 minus 0.22. This is actually the required image. My initial point is minus 2 minus 3. 
So this is minus two and this is minus three. This is the initial point image. And the required point image is 3.6. So, so my 3.6 will lies over here and minus 0 0.22 is a long negative y x axis. So over here it will meet. So it means this is the required image through the angle of 120 degree counterclockwise. Question number nine is let L from R square to R square depend by L of u is equal to negative u while u is 3, 2. So L u is A u. Now this condition minus u is satisfied only when my A is minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Because if we multiply with x, y, it will give us negative x, negative y. By taking negative common, we left with x, y, which is actually u. So this is satisfied only when A is minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Now my initial point is 3, 2. This is 3 and this is 2. And the required image is minus x minus y. So x is 2, 3, and y is 2, it becomes minus 3, minus 2. So it will lies over here. This is the required image. Now question number 10 is let L is from R square to R square defined by L of u is equal to 2u while u is minus 3, 3. Now my u is x, y. So it will give us 2x and 2y. So 2x, 2y is possible only when my a is 2, 0, 0, 2. Because if I multiply this a with u, it will give us 2x and 2y. So x is actually minus 3 should become minus 6. So in 2 into y, y is 3 should become 6. So, so the required image point is minus 6, 6. So, so this is minus 6 and this is 6. This is the required image point and the initial point is minus 3 to 3. So this is minus 3 and this is 3. So this is actually the required initial and this is the required image. Now solving question number 11, let L is a linear transformation from R cube to R square. R cube means in the given matrix we have three rows and the answer and the required image we will have two rows, x and x minus y two rows. It depends by L of x, y, z, x and x minus y, z is zero, while u is two minus one and three. So let's suppose my u is x, y, z, so my L of u will be a of u. So my a matrix should be one, u and x over y minus one by, by zero. And my u is x, y, z. By, by multiplying it will give us x, x minus y, 0, which is the required given image. So for the image, oh, initial point is 2 minus 1, 3. This is 2 along x axis and along y axis we have negative 1 and along z axis we have 3. This is the required uh, given image and the required image will be 2, 3, 0. So along x axis we have 2, along y x axis we have 3 and z axis is 0. So this is actually the required image. Oh. Now question number 12 is let R cube, uh, R L is a linear transformation from R cube to R cube depend by L of x, y, z, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, x, y, z. By multiplying these two terms, it will give us x plus z minus x plus y and z. Initial point is 0, 2, minus 4. So this is 0, this is 2. And uh, along y axis, we have 2. So this is 2. And uh, 0, 2, minus 4. So it will be lies over here. And the required image is minus 4, 2, minus 4, which, li which lies over here. It means they are rotating to the some positive degree counterclockwise. Now move to the next question. Question number 15. Uh, let L is a linear transformation R cube to R cube depend by L of x, y, z, 4, 1, 3, 2, minus 1, 3, 2, 2, 0, x, y, z. Find the equation relating A, B, C so that W is a vector is equal to A, B, C will lie in the range L. So you know that L of u is equal to w, this is L of u, which is 4xy plus 3z, 2x minus y plus 3z, 2x, 2y, and plus 0 is equal to w, w is abc. Now from over here using rho, it will land palm o, uh, it become 4, 1, 3, 2 minus 1, 3, and 2, 2, 0, and abc after the partition. Now by doing some operation, it will give us 1, 1 over 4, 3 by 4, a by 4, 0 minus 3 by 2, 3 by 2, b, 0, 0, 0, z plus b minus a. Now the third row is entirely zero. So the solution exists if C plus B minus A is equal to zero or A minus B minus C is equal to zero, which is the desired equation relating A, B, C. So W is equal to A, B, A, B, C will lie in the range L. Question number 16 is just like question number 15. It tells that repeat question number 15. If L R cube to R cube is defined by L of X, Y, Z, this condition is given in the question number 16. And my W is A, B, C, which is given over here. Now by using some, uh, uh, it's a land problem, some reduction, so it will give us 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 8, 0, 0, 0, minus A plus C minus B. Now over here, the third row is entirely 0, so it means that it will give us a solution. The solution will exist if minus A plus C minus B is equal to 0, or uh, it becomes plus A plus B minus C is equal to 0. So the solution exists when it is equal to 0, or this is equal to 0. So with this question, I finish my lecture. Inshallah, in the next video, I will solve the remaining 16 questions of this exercise number 4.3. So thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel. And also hit the bell icon to receive the upcoming notification about FSC or BSC mathematics. Thank you.